Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking energy futures. Let's talk about the crude oil contract in the midst of a two-day sell-off. But despite this two-day sell-off, the actual WTI contract hasn't moved that much. We're still right around 65. I mean, we're below 65, but we're above where we closed on March 20th. So most of that movement has been up. We've been up three of the last five days, but it has been a two day sell off. You looked at the price action and the sell offs were pretty mild. Today ended up down a little bit over a percent and a quarter. That's not bad. But overall, the WTI contract, again, hasn't moved much, finishing below 65, but still within striking distance of it and still above the horizontal channel that we broke out of, out of when we reached 66 on the high intraday over the last the previous three days. So what ends up happening with crude oil is we end up with a little bit of a bid in the morning and a sell off over the last two days. That's why the price overall hasn't moved that much. Now, we did have a stronger dollar today in the inverse relationship with the dollar and most commodities is a factor in the crude sell off. It was a decent rebound, but overall the dollar index chart is still looking negative. So the dollar overall still negative against the majors. A weaker dollar tends to bring about stronger commodities. Uh, some of that weaker dollar has been reversed today, about a half a percent of it. So you get that dollar rebound, you get weaker commodity prices. That happened across the board, not as much in metals, but it happened in gold and it happened in crude oil as well. Again, dollar rebound, weaker crude oil. So we did have a little bit of a stronger dollar today. And then the EIA expectations, the Wall Street Journal surveyed 11 analysts. Nine of them expected a build, the average build coming out to about 2.4 million barrels a day. Only two of them expected a draw. So overall, the market is starting to price in a build in both crude oil and gasoline. 2.4 on crude, 1.4 on gasoline was about the average estimate. But overall, that's not really that big of a deal considering uh, where overall stockpiles are. We're still 44 million barrels a day above the five-year average. So if you don't get a draw, it would be a lot more dramatic than if you did. But again, overall, crude oil still looking bullish, even though we're in the midst of this two-day sell-off. This is Bob Icino talking crude oil futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.